Hello everyone and welcome back to CMB Extra. Now I recently got a bunch of comments of people asking me to review Spongebob Super Sponge. Now many people don't actually know but I have a main YouTube channel which I used to do a lot of reviews on and I did a review of Spongebob Super Sponge. Now I only intend on doing this once and specifically for this video. Why? Because a lot of my other videos are quite old so my opinion has changed on those but this one was a more recent one and so my opinion is still the same on it so I thought I would release it here. Without further ado, uh, let us go. SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge, a 2D platformer released in 2001 on the PS1 and GBA. Let's start this off by saying I am terrible at 2D platformers. Always have been and always will be. I'm all right at 3D platformers because I've been playing them for most of my life. But man, 2D platformers are the bane of my existence. But maybe this one will change that. My experience with this game is minimal. I played the first few levels of the GBA version back when I was doing the video on GBA Nickelodeon games, but it was a choice between that and the Hey Arnold movie game because I didn't want to have too many 2D platformers, and I was on a bit of a Hey Arnold high during the recording of that video, so I decided to do that rather than Super Sponge. For the majority of the review, I will also be just looking at the PlayStation 1 version as well. SpongeBob wants to get Patrick a birthday present. He decides a signed picture of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy would be the best present ever. So the two heroes set SpongeBob on some search missions for some items. Simple enough, it's so weird hearing these voice actors I know and love, but bit crushed into oblivion. It doesn't sound very good at all. As I said before, this is a very simple 2D platformer. Jumping from platform to platform, fighting some weird enemies that, let's be fair, don't really look like they should be in a SpongeBob game. But hey, at least they aren't robots again. It's kind of getting old, that. So I played both the PS1 and GBA version of this game. The PS1 is easily the best version. The controls are just so much better, but in saying that, the controls are my biggest problem with this game. In general, they are fine, moving and jumping. It can be a bit hard to land some jumps, but pair that with the huge amount of tiny platforms and weird landing boxes. Like jumping over this mailbox was so hard. I thought at first there was an invisible wall for the boss fight, but no. Also, SpongeBob jumps like a foot into the air. <laughs> it's like, it's really small. Maybe the inclusion of a double jump early in the game would have made it easier, but yeah, it made seemingly easy jumps very tedious. Yeah, again, Clancy Brown is absent. Why, Clancy? Why? It's not such a big deal, because, yeah, again, the bit crushing makes a lot of a difference minuscule, but also, he only has a few lines. As far as I can tell, the rest are all the same. I'm not so sure with Mermaid Man, though. Sometimes it sounds really different, but other times it's spot on. So, yeah. Another big aspect of this game are the items. You start off with a jellyfishing net, but soon get other cool items that keep it fresh. I can't say this game wasn't fun. I had fun with it. It has some rough edges and some pretty unfun parts. AKA okay, the bosses, but... I had a good time. I don't want to be overly critical of the game. It's a 2D platformer made for young children on the PlayStation 1. But most of my gripes have been about the controls and we've seen with other games, and my main one jumps to Hey Arnold, controls done a lot better. The game looks really nice and the models look great as well. I, I don't have as much of a comparison point for this because Hey Arnold was on the GBA, but I think it looks good for a 2D platformer on, in, from 2001. I think it looks pretty good. Alrighty, well there you go. That's my opinion on SpongeBob Super Sponge. Now I have a bit of news. I'm going to be doing some new Let's Plays on this channel, but which ones is all going to be decided by you guys. I'm either going to do a Let's Play of SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, or I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Rugrats Royal Ransom. And then after that Let's Play, I'll be doing a review of it. So let me know in the comments down below which of those you would like to see, and so which reviews of those you would like to see in the coming few days slash weeks. All right, thank you very so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.